I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. So today's video is going to cover getting your clothes to look like you're involved in some sort of, you know, chemical spill or chemical type environment and uh, <clears throat> just getting things through different sorts of bleaching and dyeing and fading and things like that so it looks like you've been exposed to some sort of chemical agents as opposed to just natural time and decay and so on and so forth. So, got a uh, my teapot here. And we got some bleach. We'll go ahead and pour that in there. Never use this teapot again. This is actually a old one. <laughs> and then we have this awesome bright pink shirt. Yeah, so cool. It's so genre. And uh, we're going to suck the life right out of that. So we're going to stick that in our tea kettle here. With our bleach. And then we'll go ahead and let that get nice and covered in bleach here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to actually let this sit for a few hours. In fact, I'll probably let it sit overnight. And then we'll come back and take a look at it. Oh God, don't get the bleach on you. The reason why we use the teapot though is this way when we're done I can take this and just pour it right back into the container and I can reuse the bleach for other projects like this so try not to uh, contaminate the environment you know if we don't have to so we reuse what we can pro tip as tempting as it may be to mix other chemicals in here with the bleach to make an uber awesome, super cool effect, guess what? If you mix shit with bleach, you'll fucking die. So just put the bleach in there, do that first. If you wanna do other chemicals, do those later on. And now for the magic part. We went ahead and let that bright shirt soak overnight. And you can see that it's basically stripped away all the color. So, we'll go ahead and throw this in the washing machine. And we're gonna try to save whatever bleach is left. All right, so, now we have a light pink shirt and you may say well what's the purpose of that why wouldn't you just get a white shirt to begin with well for starters there's gonna be a different color thread used to stitch so that's gonna stand out and plus if we go straight from white to another color uh, it just doesn't have quite the same effect so we're going to wash this real quick I'm actually gonna throw in a couple of other pieces of clothing with this since there's so much bleach and it's going to give them sort of an uneven bleaching effect as well and uh, we'll see how it all comes out in the end so in this other shirt I've been working on I just kind of threw it in real quick with some other stuff that had some bleach on it so I didn't apply the bleach directly to this shirt I just threw it in the washer with other stuff that had bleach on it so now I got some marks on here from the bleaching. I also have some dark spots from, you know, where I got oil on it from before. And uh, this is starting to look pretty good with the bullet holes and the bleaching effects and the oil. So I'm excited to see how this one turns out. One other thing you're going to want to do to your post-apocalyptic outfits is if you have long sleeves, and I would suggest probably doing this to all of them, find where all of your seams are at, okay, because you're going to want to avoid those, but you're going to want to put thumb holes in. Now, a lot of people, you may have had hoodies or something with thumb holes once upon a time, but thumb holes are going to be awesome for you. So 
what we're going to do is avoid all the seams stick your thumb out see where it's going to be and then we're just going to go ahead and cut a hole right there with a pair of scissors real simple just a snip and i'm going to go ahead and do that right now So just big enough for your thumb to go through. And that's what we're looking for. Now we're gonna go ahead and sew up around here to make sure that this doesn't stretch and tear. But that's basically all there is to it. Do that on both sleeves. If you want to, you can also do finger holes for all your fingers. That's up to you. Okay. So, once you've got your bullet holes in the shirt, if you want to simulate like a chemical attack or some sort of chemical spill, it's real easy to do sort of like a tie-dye process. Uh, just get some bleach, and you can either put it in your washing machine, like in the basin, or do it in a sink. But you can take it and just sort of bunch it together and just dip it in if you want to just look around the bottoms. Or you can take it, once it's in here, and you can sort of like, you know, throw little cups full at it. Or you can use a paintbrush, you can use, uh, you know, an eyedropper or whatever you want to do to just get certain spots. So it depends on what you want to do. Now I want it a little bit more chaotic, so I just took this, bunched it up around the bottom and dunked it in to a small bucket that was in my wash tub basin. And then I went ahead and just used the bleach to, you know, wash my clothes with when I was done. So what it ends up doing is it gives you this effect. Now bleach is going to affect different pieces of clothing differently. So, I mean, you might not know exactly what you're going to get when it's all said and done, but, you will certainly get a change in the coloring of the fabric and it'll look like you know this was definitely dipped into or ran into some sort of you know chemical action somewhere in the wasteland we threw this shirt in here on the dashboard a little while back as a matter of fact it was six months ago so i'm gonna go ahead and take this off this dashboard and we're gonna see what the sun has done to it for us yes this has been sitting on the dashboard of my vehicle for six months let's take a look and see what we got here so I know it might be hard to tell on here, but there's definitely some sun streaks on here. And if you take a look at the sleeve, you'll definitely see here the difference. So see how light this is, see how dark this is? This is the side that was facing the sun, this is the side that was facing down. And we have sort of patches like that all over. Um, so if you're looking to get a sort of faded out look on your clothes, throwing on your dashboard, as I said before, great uh, way to do it. it. Does take some time. Uh, but if you live someplace where it's nice and sunny, you throw this on your uh, rear dash, throw it on your front dash, let it sit for a while, you're going to get a great look in no time at all. Another way to do this is just, you know, set it out on your porch, uh, prop it up in your window, uh, whatever you want to do, just get some sun on it. If you fold it up and crinkle it up, it's going to be uneven. If you want it to look like the sun was beating down on it, then, you know, position it however you need to to get the sunlight where you want it to go. A little bit different effect than bleaching, but still very cool effect. I hope you give it a shot. So if you're looking to simulate uh, chemical style attacks, like I said, bleach, dyes, and stuff are going to be what really sell that. So I'm going to take my thermal that I've been working on here, dip it in some brown dye that I have left over. I'm just going to do the shoulder, though, just one section of it, and that's it. I might throw some other pieces in here, but really, I'm just looking to do sort of an accent on that particular piece. Some other items I may get a little bit more immersed with, but that's what I'm doing for this, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And here's the finished product. As you can see, we have these excellent bleach stains from where we dipped it, the sleeves and the bottom. Uh, we have a little bit of fading going on, which is very subtle. You might not be able to see it on the camera. There are bullet holes from our previous video. We have our brown on the shoulder that I dyed. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I think that this turned out real well. This is meant just to be a base layer. Uh, it's a thermal, so it's meant also primarily for when it's colder out. But it's a good base layer. Uh, it gives you a good start to your costume. Don't forget your thumb holes. And then this way, if you want to go ahead and layer it with things like uh, this t-shirt that we were just working on, you can go ahead and layer it up. And now you're starting to build a costume. So we can pop multiple colors here if we want. 
And so that's pretty much it as far as uh, fading, dying, and bleaching goes. Uh, the main take home message is baby steps. It's all about the process. If you go too big at first, you may end up destroying your project. So take small steps. If you're scared to deal with the bleach, you can try diluting it with uh, water, put in a spray bottle and just sort of spritz it on there. And the longer it stays on, the more effect it's going to have. So if you don't want it to completely strip it down to its base color, make sure you wash it like right away. Um, if you wash it though, it may have a tendency to move around and become organic, which if that's what you're looking for, then that's great. That's sort of what happened with this shirt when I threw it in with uh, the other bleached shirt. And you get this sort of just really random sort of organic pattern all over it. If you want it to be very specific, then let the bleach dry and then go ahead and wash it uh, and go from there. But bleach is always going to uh, strip things down to ba its base color. So I mean like blacks will become browns, a lot of other colors become white. Uh, like this became sort of just like a lighter shade of itself. So you know, just be mindful. And that's why I say do some spot tests if you're not sure what's gonna happen. Uh, practice on some old clothing first and uh, that can always become part of the costume later if you want it to. Uh, but yeah, the main thing is just be safe with the bleach and uh, you know have fun with what you're doing. It's easy enough to throw a shirt on the back uh, a window so of your car or even up in the front and uh, just leave it up there for a while if you're in an area with a lot of sun it'll fade out fast don't forget your thumb holes <laughs> and uh, if you enjoyed this video please click like and uh, subscribe to my channel you can also click that little bell icon that'll let you know whenever I post new stuff which is weekly and uh, yeah just uh, let everybody else that you know know about my channel because I want uh, you know everyone to be involved and uh, enjoy what I do so, as always, adventure on.